Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to this channel. By the way, I'm Eduardo Gulfan and to this video, I am going to show you on how to create a bar graph using character code in Query of Microsoft Access, just like this one guys. So if you are still interested, please watch this video until the end and please subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. <music> So since we are using a character code, we must have like this one guys. So I have the 9600 and this is the format. So if you do not know guys about a character code, you can search it in the internet. And also uh, you can do your own experiment just like this one. If I type 9600, so the result is this one, 1200, okay, that's the format. I prefer to use the 9600 and also this one, the 9604. So, we will remember this, 9604. So, let's start a new one. So, let's create a query. So, we can add a table, but we can also uh, simply drag and drop. So, click this, product name, total sales, and let's try Okay, this is the format, and now let us add the graph. So, press Ctrl F2 to open the code builder or expression builder, or you can just click this one, guys. So, so since this is a number, let's put um, sent or convert to integer. So, that's the meaning. And then, the value is the total cells. So let's type total cells. And then um, let us uh, close the function. And then let's put comma to proceed another function or another parameters. So let's put CHR. By the way, there are two options the CHR and the CHRW. So the CHR, this is um it has a limited symbols characters unlike the chrw so we're gonna use the chrw and i'm gonna use the 9604 and before i forgot i will convert it to string so i will type equals string and add additional um open uh in close parenthesis and by the way Let's put bar graph. That only. Okay. Click OK. And let's try. So this is the result. But as you can see, so they are the same. And this is not um, exactly what we want. So let us adjust, guys. So for the total cells, let us put times like 10. So let's go to the data sheet view. And here we go, guys. This is the result. And also, if you want to adjust to make it small, uh, you can just type, like for example, half of it, 5. So this is it. But I like the number 10. Let's go back to number 10. And then for the colors, guys. For the color of this, uh, let's go back and then let's go to format. So here you can you can type what color you want, just like blue, green, white, red, black, magenta, or whatever. So for me, I like blue, so I will type here blue. Okay, this one, and then I will indicate the at sign. So this signifies that this field is a text. So, let's see. Here we go. This is the result, guys. I think this is enough. If you like this video, please click like. And if you have some questions, you can comment it down below. I will try my best to answer that question. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. That's all, guys. Thank you. And see you to my next video.